I don't know what this road's called, it's uh, Scotch Corner to Carlisle, but it goes right up, quite high up a really steep hill. And we just got to the top and it's very, very windy and blowing us all over the place. I don't like it. It doesn't scare me because can you remember when we were on the Isle of Skye or Mull and it was 100 mile an hour? Yes. If we can withstand 100 mile an hour, we can withstand this. But it is quite strong looking at the trees. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, guys. Probably not. Do you want to do an update on the tuning box? How that's going? Okay, the tuning Whoa. box. <laughs> well, I don't think this is a good time, Mazzy. Let's no, do that later on. <laughs> you may continue. <laughs> uh, the tuning box, well, it's saying we've got 252 miles still on the clock. And to say we're 60 miles away from Scotland, that's not bad. I don't know. I can't really tell until we get to Inverness. What I was planning on was getting to Inverness on one tank. So I'll have a better idea then, but yeah, it seems to be doing okay, does the tuning box. I wish we had the power at the moment, but uh, Are hey, you noticing that there? I'm noticing we haven't got as much power as we had. You haven't technically described that whereas before we used to get 250 miles per, per tank, didn't we? Oh, 550. Oh, 550. Now, now what was we getting? 665, I think we had on this yesterday. Yeah. So that's like 100 miles difference per tank by having a tuning box. That's massive. That'll pay for itself, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Over, over a couple of journeys. Definitely. But well, that's when you have it on its most economical setting and not its powerful setting. But yeah. So it'll be interesting to try its really powerful setting then. Which we will be doing when we do the Apple Cross Bypass. Yeah. Dreading it. So this is the Lake District. Well, I'm saying it is, Mazzy. I think it is. Ah! I'm not very good <laughs> at geography when it comes to this area. We're in Cumbria, I can tell you that much. And I think Lake District is in Cumbria, or it's just next to it. It's, it's a hilly place where it's beautiful, and it is part of the Lake District, or we're near the Lake District. Oh, just shish. It is beautiful there, isn't it? It is. So we've made it. Six hours and 20 minutes later. Is that what it was? Yes. <laughs> well, we can take about an hour and ten off that for when we actually stopped in places, but the rest of the time was driving. We weren't stuck in traffic at all, were we? We were lovely. Well, well it wasn't a lovely, lovely drive, no. <laughs> but there were no problems on the roads at all. Yeah. So when it says four hours on Google Maps, it actually means about five hours ten. To us in a motorhome, doesn't it? Yeah. We'll have to remember that. Yeah. Anyway, we're at the Metal Bridge Inn. Yes, and I'm panicking. Maz is panicking. <laughs> this is a very, very popular Brit stops. Everyone stops here when they're going to Scotland and back. It's We've right been on here two or three times now, We've haven't we? We've been loads of times yeah. in the past. Um, but there's usually a sign just here saying Brit Stop Car Park, which just has been taken off now. If you now. can see here, guys, that's where it was. It's not there now. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> The front of the pub hasn't got a sign up, but I have read on Facebook, don't worry, we're not a derelict building, we are still open, we're just getting a new sign. But that was three weeks ago on Facebook. So we've turned up, it's supposed to open in 10 minutes time. We're the only ones here. The car park looks like it's been changed since we've been here. It looks like they're redoing it. They've got like bits of wood up yeah. on the floor. Can you see that, Mazzy? Well, yeah, if I could take them out and just, it's very windy. See like rows and rows of rows of like wooden beams. I beams. think they're only doing that so that motorhomes park where they want motorhomes to park because I've been reading 29 motorhomes stayed here in one night. Yeah, when? May. Yeah, but it's September now, darling. October. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but they're wanting to make sure it doesn't happen again and get, get 
get it ready for next year. Why they got rid of the Brit stop sign? I think it's just because it's they're either changing the name of the pub or they're changing the logo of the pub and it might have had the logo, old logo of the pub on the Brit stop yeah, sign. We'll have to see. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be open anyway. Yeah, pub might be open, but we might not be able to stay here. That's what I'm worrying about. We will. Okay. I trust you. To Scotland. To Scotland. To us. To us in Scotland. Yay. Cheers. Cheers. This is going to be the last pub I'm going to get John Smith's in. Really? Yeah, it all turns into <laughs> Bell Haven. Now we're heading into Scotland. Oh, okay, you didn't mind that though, did you? It's not bad. I prefer John Smith's, but luckily I've brought 18 cans of John Smith's yes! with me. <laughs> so it's the next morning. Hi, guys! <laughs> um, About six hours driving ahead, I reckon. Yeah. But it's not going the way I thought it was going to take us, so I'm quite pleased about that. Might see some things I've not seen before because we're going through Perth, through Aviemore, and that way. Uh, right, where are we? What are we doing first? We're back at Gretna Green, guys. Gretna Green, yeah. Yes. <laughs> now, we're only coming here for one reason and one reason only. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're coming here to just make sure his padlock's still there because it costs £10. Can you remember we put a padlock on and we put his names on it? at the Gretna Green sign thing. About a year ago now, was it? Oh, two years. Really? No, it was January, February, the year before last, so about 18, 19 months. Yeah, wow. So we're just going to make sure his padlock's there, get us £10 worth. Um, over the last 18 months, people have been sending us pictures of it. When they've yeah. come here, they've actually taken pictures of his padlock, so it has still been here. Yeah. So hopefully it's still there. Let's go have a look. Yay, yeah, come on then. And then we're going straight away. Go on, go find it. I'm guessing they must remove some, you know. I don't think they do remove them. Really? Because over the last two years, I'm sure there'd be more than this. There's there. a lot of padlocks there, Mazzy. Come on. I don't know Ten where pound it was. each. Where was it? Oh, we weren't there. Well, we were was over it? here somewhere. Was it? We were on the O or the V. Oh, this could take hey, wait, hours. Was it? it was about here. No, I'm pretty sure it was okay, here well, you, or I'll here. It's not on the L, I tell you now. Well, we just had to go back to the van <laughs> to watch the video to see exactly where we put it because we couldn't remember. Uh, we did notice that Mazzy had exactly the same, the same clothes on, on yeah. 18 months ago. <laughs> yeah. Right, it's near the O. It was below the green or something, wasn't it? Oh, shiny? Was it shiny? It was silver. It was like in line with this. It's somewhere around here. There, look. Oh, yeah! There we are. Yeah! So it has faded a bit. It has there. a little bit. Yeah. Uh, it has on that side. Travel Trolls TV, YouTube. Yay. I'm going to redo it. Yeah, you redo it. So we're not getting another one. <laughs> Got to look after that one. £10 that cost. I remember it very well. One of the darkest days of my life. <sighs> so there we go. It's been redone, repainted on. So anyone who comes to Gretna Green, please do take a picture Yay. of that and send it to us. We like to know it's still here because it cost us ten pounds. <laughs> it's on the o, it's on the oar in line with the thing, the top of the oar. Right, come on, let's go. We're that not hanging exciting. around Gretna Green. This is one place I don't want to be. <laughs> We're about five miles from Moffat, darling. Five miles from Moffat. Yeah. Moffat Toffee. Do you want to stop? To be honest with you, I've been thinking about it for the last half an hour. Have you? I love Moffat Toffee, but no, I don't. Come on, Jesus, come on. This car's annoying. Idiot. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. No, I'm not going to get some. No? It'll only take a minute or two to start. It won't though, will it? It'll take us half an hour and then we'll end up going into the Mad Potter's shop so you can do a prayer with him. <laughs> and buy one of his pots. No, I think we'll just carry on and let's get to where we're going. Otherwise, we're never going to get there. We've got four hours minimum, yeah? Oh. So we just got to say massive happy birthday to my niece, Angel, today. Happy birthday, Angel. Happy birthday, Angel. She's 21 today. 21. 21. Wow. And happy birthday to my sister from yesterday as well. <laughs> happy birthday. Yep, have a good day, guys. 
Oh, well, we're on, well, we're on. Yeah. Can I just say a few thanks? Yeah. I'd just like to quickly thank Robert H, Samantha, Jim Carber, and all of us patrons uh, for, for your help this month. We really appreciate it. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be setting off to Scotland now. It'd be another couple of weeks before we could go. So, massive thank you to everyone. We've now got 49 patrons, Mazzy. Oh, wow. 49 patrons, that's fantastic. So, thank you all very much. Thanks, guys. Just gonna stop at a service station, aren't we, babe, quick? We are, yeah. And they're assigned for a tourist information. Oh, okay. Whether it's in here, I don't know. We need a tourist information to get a map of the NC500, you know, a free map. Um, but I don't think they'll have them so far south as this, but we'll have a look if they have one. Can't believe you're making me wear this hat. Of course. You can't be a king without a crown. Yeah, but it's Burger King, isn't it? It's yeah. as if it's advertising Burger King, and I have to tell you something, they're the last company I want to <laughs> advertise right now. 15 minutes we just had to wait at Burger King from putting us ordering on the machine to the food being served. 15 minutes. Yeah. That is disgusting. You know, you could sit down in a posh restaurant and get it quicker than that. And then he got our order wrong. And anyway. then he got the order wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Absolutely disgusting. Disgusted with your Burger King. If there's anyone, any yes, management Burger from Burger King. King watching this, you better get in touch and offer us some free vouchers. <laughs> so, he didn't only get us drinks wrong. He got us order wrong. Um... I ordered onion rings, you ordered yeah. chips, we thought we'd share and have a mixture, you see. He's given us two chips and and uh, onion rings. So apologise to Burger King now. I'm not going to apologise. <laughs> They've got the order wrong. They've given us more chips than we asked for, so they're making us fatter. <laughs> I want to know what the actual burger's going to be. God knows what that's going to turn out like. I bet it's completely different to what we ordered. They look cute. Leave your comments, please. I want to know your stories about nightmare times in Burger King. You know, how long have you had to wait for your Burger King to be delivered? Uh, what orders have they got wrong? Why we should get some free vouchers for next time? Loads of comments about Burger King basically just having a go at them. You know, they're making a lot of money and they're getting orders wrong and making us wait 15 minutes. Oh, stop whining. Well. Oh. So no gas and no information, please. No gas, no information, and I've just told you all this once, but you didn't have sound on camera, so no. I have to do it all again. <laughs> yeah, we're off up to Aviemore. I think we'll, I think we'll get gas there. There's definitely tourist information there, and that's where I did the wild camping Scotland trip in the Cairngorm. So I'm really looking forward to going back there. Cause it's beautiful. If I remember, I'll put a link in the i yeah. for like the playlist of the Wild Camping Scotland trip, so people can see that if they want to. Oh, it's so good, guys! I love it. It is so and funny, very funny. It was, it was a good, good trip. So, have you got a joke of the day for us? Joke of the day. Yes. Let me think. Let me think. Should we come back to you? No, I've got one. Yeah. I've got one. Uh, where do Volkswagens go? What? What's wrong with you? Uh, go on, say the joke now, you started. I can't remember the joke. It's your joke, go on, you say it. Where do Volkswagens go when they get old? When they get old? Yeah. The old Volks home. <laughs> <laughs> that was your joke, that's why it's so bad. Well, that isn't the joke I was about to say. Oh, have you got another one? Yeah. Well, go on then. Insurance companies are warning campers in that if your tent gets stolen, you won't be covered. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is what I have to put up with. <laughs> so I'm panicking a little bit. Yeah, I'm panicking as well. Oh, don't tell me that! <laughs> Not panicking. 40 miles left in the tank. 37 miles to the petrol station. And how long is it going to take us? 45 minutes. 45 minutes. You don't get closer than that. No. I'll say we've got 39 miles left in the tank. And we've 
got 37 miles to get to our petrol station. Yes. Right, let's panic. <laughs> Tell everyone why you're cross. Cross? Yeah. I'm at cross. I saw you again just now. You what? waved at the motorhome and they did wave back and you shook your head. No, he did wave. Oh, he did, did he? I was annoyed because I had to wave back. Oh. So I decided that I wasn't going to wave to any more because I've waved at three or four and they've just ignored me. So I decided I wasn't going to wave to any more on this trip. And there's going to be thousands of them. I'm just going to be like that all day long. I don't want to be doing that. <laughs> Can we make a new rule in the motorhome community, please? Let's just all stop waving at each other, yeah? It was good while it lasted. <laughs> but it's about time we stopped now. You know, it's, it's, it's dangerous. You're trying to drive on road, you've got to concentrate. Never mind waving. Don't know you. Never seen you before in my life. I'll probably never see you again. Why do we wave at each other? Let's just cut it out. The entire motorhome community, we're stopping as of now. Do you like a sucky sweet? Because that's what people do on road trips. So how do you feel that we've actually been on the road for six hours? Shut up and leave me alone. <laughs> I'm sick of it. I'm sick of driving. Officially we've been on the road now for six hours ago we left this morning. We've still got a half an hour to go before we get to the petrol station. And then we're still not at our destination. No, and then how far from the petrol station to our destination? Probably about five days. I don't know, I just give up. I just keep going on and on and on and on. You know what you said to me the other day? I wonder how long it would take you if you went all the way around in a car. Yeah. So all the way around the world. Well, I reckon we're on that road. It's just non-stop road. Constant, and they're not even nice roads. Have another sweet and just shush, look, will ya? We made it. Well, we haven't made it. <laughs> We've got to have him more. Hold on, me lighting's off. No, I mean made it to the petrol station. Yeah, yeah, just, it just bleeped and said warning, very low. Yeah. And it stopped telling us there were any miles left in it. And that was only about a mile away, so we've done all right. So we've stopped in Avimore. Avimore, yes. We've Yay. filled up with petrol. Got you some food for tonight or tomorrow. Well, tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. um, and I wanted a map. Can I just show them this? Yeah. I wanted a map of the North I'm Coast have to 500. My lighting, guys. But I can't find a map. You know, like a leaflet with a map in it. So I've got. I did want this, but I was reluctant to spend the money on it. But it's going to be essential, this Mazzy. I don't see how, when you've got everything downloaded. I have, but that's on phones, it's not in physical form. Like, we might be going somewhere and you'll be asking me questions all about yeah. it, like you do, yeah. and you'll be able to look at all pictures. Yeah. And if there's any words you want to know about, I can read them to you. Okay. <laughs> but that's going to be really good. How so much was that? That was £12.95. Pence. It's an investment. It's an investment for a trip. Right. And this is where you set off, didn't you, when you went on your Scotland trip? When I did Wild Camping Scotland, yes, I stayed. I got off the train just over there and I stayed in a hotel. And that was bonfire night. Oh, yeah. Can you remember those yeah. fireworks? I opened my curtains in my room and they were literally setting off the fireworks on the just off the balcony there <laughs> on the roof. And they had these massive fireworks like this big. And there were a guy lighting them right in front of me. It was fantastic. I bet you got a bit drunk that night, didn't you? I got very drunk that night, yeah. <laughs> With a Scottish guy who became a, an online friend of mine. Oh, that's nice. So where are we heading now? How long have we got? Um, how long? It is about 50 minutes. Oh, wow. 35 miles. And then we're there Ugh. where we're starting the trip in the morning. Come on, let's go. Yeah, come on. We've made it, we've made it. That's us view for tonight. We're just next to the river. Inverness is just over there somewhere, over the bridge. Um, yeah, nothing else to say. I'm just exhausted. Got to edit this video and get some sleep ready for tomorrow. Um, do you Seven want to say hours good? later. 
Can what we... did you say it was earlier? 13 hours it's taken well, us? Well, yes, it was gone six yesterday and then it's just gone seven today, wasn't it? Six hours. 13 hours, hours including stops. Yeah, which um, we didn't really stop unnecessarily, did we? No, no, we didn't stop years. much. Yeah. So, yeah, that's how long it takes from Murray St Edmunds yeah. to Inverness. Do you want to show home. the guys first, a few, before we say goodbye? Well, though. I've given them a tiny look. And it's beautiful. Yeah, I've shown them enough. They can see it all yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to get the kettle on. All right, well, thanks for joining, guys. We'll thanks see you guys. bright and early tomorrow for the start of the NC500. See you later. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Please comment and hit the like button. That helps our channel grow. If you like what you see, click here to subscribe. Check out this other great video. And if you really want to show your support, join the club, become a Patreon for extra videos and perks. The more support we get, the more content we can give. We'll see you tomorrow on Travel, Travel Trolls, Trolls TV. TV.